Hello guys, Trossy O are doing wonderful. Today we want to see how to design this football club logo using our Android smartphone on the Pixel Lab application. Please, if you are coming across our channel for the first time, just for the very first time, do well to subscribe, turn on that notification bell so that you are updated whenever we bring new content. So I'm going to delete everything and begin afresh so that you guys see how I came up with this design all right so i'm going to leave this background this way now i have some uh, png files that i will be using i'm going to leave the link to get them in the description first of all is this uh, other element here that i want to use so i'm going to position it this way and uh, i'm just going to go to copy go to copy here click on copy so that you can have two of them okay but then make the second one that you are just from copying white give it a white color so we're giving it a white color then proceed to reduce the size reduce the size and place it this way then i want you to go next to eraser click on your eraser button so that we can erase a part of of it okay so i'm going to increase the size of my eraser a bit and uh, the length i'm going to increase the length and increase the size a little bit all right so i want us to where do we want to erase i want us to erase these edges okay we don't need them so let's start You have to erase this carefully to make sure that you don't touch the inner shape okay once you have that just click up here on the check mark to continue so i'm going to click here and i have something like this just go now to crop on crop then you crop it to the middle and you click on the check mark to proceed increase the size a little bit yes so you place it here and after you are done doing that let's go and import a png ball element so i have this png file I'm going to reduce the size as well. And uh, place it here. Okay. Then copy it. And as you copy it, just go to layer. Click on layer and hide it. All right. Then click back on this other ball element. Go to stroke give it a black color stroke a stroke width of about four it's okay or five good now make it completely white come to color and give it a white color it should be white completely perfect now go to shapes click on shapes and you can choose this square shape and make it a rectangle by placing it here then rotate it carefully rotate it carefully and you place it here all right good now i want you to go to layer as you go to layer match everything except this ball element together so where are we going to match we're going to click on layer and you click here to select all right so i'm going to select everything starting from this 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 and this all right so we're not selecting this ball element all right we don't need to match this one so i'm going to select one two three four excluding the ball element then after i'm done doing that i'll just click here to match it so just click here 
and you can see that everything is now is now meshed together and you can proceed to erase color you click on erase color and boom we have it nicely looking this way so increase the tolerance a little bit and as you can see we have something like this great now I would love you to copy this further all right and bring it position it use your relative position to make sure that all of them are on the middle you hide it then you click on the second design go to relative position and tack it to the middle also as well go to shapes next you go to shapes click on shapes we choose this square okay so we're going to cover the the downer section of this then you go to layer and lock and match it up so we're going to go to layer and the one we are matching is this shape and this other design all right don't mesh it with this design with this one that you have hide that you have hidden here don't mesh it with it okay so you just match the one we are merging we are merging take note we are merging this and this so let's go we we'll match this and this together and you match it up good now you come down to erase color and do away with the white color once you have that go back to shapes choose this square give it a black color all right reduce the size drastically and as you reduce the size go back to shape the uh, to, to layer match it with this okay so that you have something like this good now we are going to hide this and unhide the other design all right so that we have this one now completely with us here and i'm going to repeat the same procedure by first of all clicking on on shapes so remember the first design we hide we the portion that we hide was uh, the downer side so we are going to hide now the upper side for this one so that we have an upper and a downer uh, design all right so i'm going to hide this good and as you hide it go to layer select this and this okay so we are going to mesh them together then go to erase color enable your erase color then repeat the same procedure go to shapes click on shapes bring in this square let's reduce the size oh my god let's reduce the size and give it a black color okay then you push it to four on this design go to layer select and mesh them up together good so that we have this now we're going to on height all of the design now you can see that we have a complete design all right we have something like this good now go back to shapes choose a square and as we choose a square i want you to bring it up here reduce the size good now give it a black color okay then rotate it let's use rotation to make sure that it plumbs well with uh, our design all right good now we have to copy this and let's try to make the shape a little bit bigger all right i think this is fine then we copy it and we use our position tool to bring it down here so we're also going to place this one nicely on this other side of our design 
please as you follow the tutorial don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content and keep watching to see how we are going to make this logo realistic so i'm also going to place this here nicely okay we'll just make sure we we'll just make sure that everything is plumped up here carefully good so that we have something like this now we're going to select this first shape will go for this downer design and this one will go for this okay so let's begin i'm going to select the first this one and match it with the down part of the design together then i'm going to select this and match it with the upper part of our of our design so i will have a complete set of elements meshed together now let's go and enable our ball that we that we had hidden okay so go to layer and enable it let's lock everything up all right then click on the ball element use your position tool to bring it here this way now we're going to send this to front and uh, carefully place the ball here okay good now as you place the ball click on it then you go to erase color enable your erase color increase the tolerance a little bit so that we'll have something like this perfect now let's let's click on the, our import button to import uh, this other ball uh, football icon okay so just place it there good now let's send this downer part of the design down a little so that we can have some space to write well okay just make sure that everything is plumbed to the middle then let's check this upper portion also all right good i think it's too down so we can try sending it up a little bit once more good now guys let's arrange the ball the ball element okay good so we're going to proceed by clicking on this okay click on this then go to texture let's give it this blue texture all right then you maintain enable maintain ratio good now let's click on on layer again to choose the downer part of the design then you go to texture we're going to give it this silver texture all right so pay attention to where we are cropping we cropping where we have a bright color good so click on the ball element enable color and make it white all right it should be white then we go to text click on text double tap to write so we're going to write football as a law 
and you bring it down here go to fonts let's check if we can have any good fonts for this so i'm going to rotate and increase the size to 65 i think is fine then go to spacing and try to space this up to just about 36 and copy double tap to right club so it's football club now we're going to reduce the size of this radar to just about 50 then we'll bring it down this way but then go to spacing and undo that spacing we are just going to place it somewhere in the middle of our design so our football club let's send this football up a little okay good so we have football club now let's match everything together let's select the text and match them together with uh, the football icon element all right excluding the football icon element all right so let's first of all go for the two texts the football and the club so we're going to match them up and as you match them go to texture we're going to give it this other bright golden texture then you enable the maintain ratio then you click on the ball element on the ball icon go and also give it the same gold the same gold uh, texture All right. Good. We can even try to increase the size further. Then you bring it closer to this ball element. And let's begin by begin giving them a 3D uh, a 3D look. So we are going to go to 3D shape, enable it, choose oblique, then reduce the the depth to just about one and uh, increase the darkness a little bit don't touch the lighting increase the shadow also a little then the spectacular hardness you can also increase it more now you come to emboss enable your emboss okay increase the ambient light as well as uh, try to reduce the spectacular hardness a little then the bevel should be around 64 and click ok and let's click on this football icon also enable 3d shape let's give it an oblique but then reduce the depth to just one increase the darkness a little bit and the spectacular hardness as well then go to emboss enable your emboss increase the intensity of the ambient light as well as reduce the spectacular hardness a little then you can increase the bevel great now let's click on the the upper section of our design all right this one so just click here 
let's also give it a texture all right we already give it the text gave it the texture so let's go to 3d shape enable a 3d shape but give it an oblique reduce the depth to just one all right so let's try two two is too much so let's just leave it to one increase the darkness a little okay and the spectacular hardness then you can go to emboss enable your emboss reduce the intensity of the light uh, okay so let's leave it this way then the bevel you can also increase it great now let's also click on the downer section of the design we go to 3d shape enable a 3d shape give it oblique and let's reduce the, the depth to just one as well increase the darkness a little then you go to emboss all right so this is how you can come up with this uh, football club logo design on your pixel app application fellow creatives let's send the ball element to the front all right so this is simply how you can come up with this football club logo design on your android smartphone a pixel app application we are going to proceed now to change the background so we're going to click on background here i'm going to import from gallery all right i also leave the link on how you can get this background on the description of this tutorial kindly check it out so once i click on it i'm going to click on a one is to one a square size all right so that we have something like this can you see how awesome the logo now looks very awesome i guess so you can now save your design carefully and uh, exit so let's save our work let's wait for it to save and boom it's safe to our gallery so guys thank you so much for watching and for staying with us up to this point if you are yet to subscribe to our channel please you are missing a lot kindly subscribe so that you'll be the first to be informed whenever we put new content also let us know where you are watching from so that we can send you a hug in our next video thank you so much and god